Hey guys, it's Smithy from Soccer M, back on Spurred On, and I'm about to tell you my top five Tottenham Hotspur away days. Oish. Right, number five for me is Wolverhampton Wanderers nil, Tottenham Hotspur 2 back in 2004. Goals from Robbie Keane and Jermaine Defoe. What an away day it was. I went with a load of my mates up there. It was boiling hot day. I remember we went in shorts and a t-shirt. I even had a pair of flip-flops on. And it was the last game of the season. Wolves got relegated. And because it was the last away game of the season, everyone took inflatables. And at one point, I was actually lying on a lilo watching Tottenham Hotspur play. I've never been lying on a lilo, getting sun on my body, watching Tottenham Hotspur win at an away fixture since. I'll always remember that. What a day it was and up the Spurs. Now, as everyone knows, away days aren't always about the performance or the result. It's about the day out as well. And for that reason alone, uh, I am going to say my fourth favourite away day is the League Cup final. Not the one you're thinking, the one that we lost to Man United at Wembley. Uh, just for me, this was just a funny day out. I'd injured my ankle playing football quite badly, sprained the ligaments actually, my right ankle, playing for the mighty Oxshot Royals the day before. I was on crutches in the pub before and and afterwards. Everyone's just saying, oh, crutches, Smithy, what do you want? Crutches, do you want a drink? And then one of them stole my crutches. I had to limp to go to the toilet. It was just an absolute disaster. I sat in 120 minutes, didn't see a single goal. Then we were diabolical on penalties. And to make matters even worse slash funny, uh, walking back from Wembley Way, which as you all know is a nightmare as it is. It takes about an hour to get to the tube station. Some busy security guard wouldn't let me go up the ramp. I had to walk on one of my crutches because my mate had run off with the other crutch up the stairs onto the tube. It was a bit of a nightmare on the pitch, but we had a belting day out. Number three for me, uh, unfortunately, it wasn't a game we won again, uh, but it was a great day out. It was Middlesbrough away back in 2004. Don't know if any of you were there at the time, but we lost 1-0. And it was huge at the time to try and qualify for the UEFA Cup. We took, me and nine mates took a minibus, which is the first time I've ever taken a minibus to a game. No sat navs back then, having to find an old school ordnance survey map to the ground. One of my mates said, let's get there really early and check out Middlesbrough. There's no need to do that if you're playing Middlesbrough away. There is very little to do in Middlesbrough. We got there about three hours before kickoff, went straight into the ground. Uh, ridiculously early to get into a stadium for a game. I looked like an absolute fruit pot back then. I had blonde peroxide, bleached, long, highlighted hair. I think I even had a short sleeve shirt over a long sleeve shirt. Looked like a right egg. Uh, but we had a barrel of laughs. We lost 1 0 and we had a great day. I wouldn't change it for the world. My second favourite Spurs away day is Tottenham Hotspur 2, Chelsea 1, the League Cup final at Wembley. What a day that was. So many reasons for this. Uh, it was a cup final. Every single person I knew thought Chelsea would win that day. They were firm favourites. Obviously, there's a huge rivalry between us and Chelsea. Berbatov scored an amazing little pen, very cheeky pen. Woodgate got the winner. Just beating Chelsea in a cup final at Wembley, lifting the trophy, everything about it. I knew so many mates. It was great just looking at, seeing people that you knew in different parts of the stadium. And then at the end of the game, that famous view down Wembley Way, just a sea of white and blue colour everywhere. Spurs fans singing, dancing, waving flags, everyone partying into the night. What a day. I absolutely loved it. Great away day. My favourite ever Tottenham Hotspur away day was at Upton Park. Tottenham Hotspur 4, West Ham United 3. Uh, we were 3-2 down in this fixture at about the 88th, 89th minute. Bobby Zamora just scored for them against us. We were getting hammered for that by the West Ham fans. Uh, I just thought this can't get much worse, to be honest. We're going to lose at West Ham. I'm here, they're giving it us. West Ham fans don't like Spurs, let's face it. Then we scored two goals with, must have been the last goal, must have been the last kick of the game, scoring two goals in injury time. Stal Terry, of all people, getting the winner. And I remember vividly being moved. I think I started in row M and ended in about row C. Everyone just went flying forward. I remember celebrating, vivid memory I have of this game is as I was celebrating, just seeing someone's shoe just being thrown in the air because no one knew what to do. It was such a chaotic, unbelievable, last gasp winning game. Mark Noble started crying. The emotion in that game was just unbelievable. My all time favourite Spurs away day was beating the Yammers at their place. So that was my top five Tottenham Hotspur away days. Let us know what you think and tell us your top five away days in the comments section below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and check out at Spurred on TV on Twitter. And for more great content, check out Soccer M's YouTube channel. Hey, this is Smithy back again for Spurred On. Now Tottenham do of course play Swansea this weekend and we will be coming up against Gilfie 